Really excited to be here with Anna Brightman, uh, co-founder of UpCircle Beauty, an exciting beauty brand that's also having a really big impact. In a nutshell, describe UpCircle Beauty and the products. So at UpCircle, we take ingredients that would otherwise be discarded and thrown away and we transform them into sustainable skincare products. And what are the main ingredients? So coffee grounds yes. uh, is a key ingredient. What coffee other grounds ingredients? is where we started. It's where we kind of made our name. It's definitely what we're most known for at this relatively young stage of the brand. Um, so we use both the physical grounds that we collect from hundreds of uh, small chain and independent coffee shops around London. And then we also extract the oil for our facial serum. Um, after that, we launched a range of soap bars, palm oil free soaps that have been made from residual chai tea spices that were originally used to brew chai tea syrups. And um, we've got three products due to launch before Christmas that have been made from the powder of um, fruit stones that were used to make oils. Originally. Wow, say that again. So the powder from, <laughs> so you're like thinking of a peach stone. <clears throat> yes, exactly. And you would take that stone mm -hmm. and you would ground it down. Mm -hmm. So the powders from these stones, depending on what we're working with, uh, but think things like olive or even argan pits. Um, so they've been used to make oils, uh, but then there's part of the stone is left over. And if you powder those down, that powder is actually very rich in fats, so lipids and antioxidants. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're working on a facial range um, that, that uses these powders. They're incredibly fine. So they don't have a, a kind of exfoliating property, but you get all of the moisturizing benefits from them. All of those uh, natural ingredients that would otherwise essentially go to waste, mm. you're collecting through all your partners and transforming and elevating essentially yes. into beautiful skincare. Yes, yeah. It's really interesting. I mean, it's completely collaborative by its nature. Um, and I mean, equally, it makes it probably one of the most challenging parts of the business. It would be in many cases, a lot easier to just, for example, buy coffee fresh. Yep. Um, but it's what makes us different. It's innovative, it's forward thinking. And I think that it is what has enabled us to gain the traction and the following that we have quite quickly because we're offering a sustainable solution. How much coffee grains are you, I guess, rescuing per day across London? Um, it varies, <laughs> uh, but we're collecting every single day now. We started off just doing it at the weekends. Now it's a daily collection as we've, as we've grown. Um, we have saved overall coming up to 80 tonnes in our, in our journey um, from the minute the coffee is brewed. Uh, our products are actually being produced the next day. So it's a very quick uh, process. It's all, you know, handmade, uh, obviously UK based. So it's local ingredients as well. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting and quite different process. Wow. Took us a while to get it right, admittedly. Um, but we've got there now. What's been the happiest moment mm. for you on this journey so far? So many. I feel like Again, working with your brother is quite an intense situation. It's probably what I get asked about the most. But what's amazing about that is that we get to share every little success with the family. We've had, I mean, getting our first big retailer after the rebrand was, was a big win. Going on Dragon's Den was a big win. Uh, and to think that we've had the press coverage that we've had, that we're in, the retailers that we're in, um, I think, you know, six months in when we took a step back and uh, reflected, that was probably the happiest for us because you just, you're like, wow, okay, we're doing all right here. And you can easily forget that on the day-to-day -day madness. I absolutely love that because I think what that also speaks to is, the, is actually just being really true to yourself mm -hmm. and yourselves, you and William, of why do we get into this mm. what excites us about this and what actually makes it genuinely different yeah. and rather than trying to do a sort of me too play of following what everyone else is doing mm -hmm. and what was already the norms in the industry you're saying well actually this is this is who we are this is what we believe in yeah. and let's put that front and center rather than kind of you know disguise yeah. it it's actually what makes us like amazing it, that's okay and that's a choice exactly <laughs> i love that and on the flip side, the converse, you were on the this morning uh, show, your product was featured. It didn't necessarily get the review that we'd all mm -hmm. wish for yeah. um, as, as, you know, as founders. And um, I thought that your response on social media was actually really powerful by sort of acknowledging and owning that this has happened. It yes. wasn't exactly what you'd want to have seen happen, but also that, you know, you 
managed to sort of take it and receive it and then respond to it in a really positive way, I felt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit about that from your own experience? Yeah, I mean, it was, we call it this morning gate. It wasn't ideal. Um, <laughs> my brother and I had just gone on holiday. The first holiday that we'd gone on together, it was a family wedding. Uh, so we were in Spain, in the mountains, in a little villa, trying to get a signal because we'd found out less than, I think it was 24 hours before the show that we were going to go on. Uh, so our poor only member of staff who'd just started was couriering the, the scrub to the studios, etc. Big drama. Short segment, didn't go well, loved the idea, were offered the scrub to smell and then just said, hate it, moved on. And naturally, you come away from that just like, oh wow, <laughs> what's just happened? Um, bit frustrating, but what can you do with it? You know, it happens. Uh, I think, as you've mentioned, it's more about how you can draw positives from these experiences and we're all about transparency and so i posted the whole clip and i said hey <laughs> you win some you lose some and what was wonderful about this experience was actually the coming together of this wonderful loyal customer base that we've built and the reaction was wonderful what is your dream for the business in terms of where you'd like to see it go and in terms of the impact you'd love to see it have. I'd like to launch a hair range. I'd like to look into like oral hygiene, things like that. So um, I'm hugely excited about the potential of new product development, um, finding you know new ingredients that we can work with, new collaborations in different industries. And then from the sustainability side of things, I mean, with the coffee alone, Based on our current growth rates, it's estimated, I think, that we're in the next five years looking to have saved around a thousand tons. Um, and that's amazing. To think that three years ago, this is just my brother and I thinking, oh, throwing away a lot of coffee grounds. Um, and now here we are with potentially having saved well over a thousand tons in, in eight years um, is insane. So, and that's just one ingredient. It's phenomenal. Right? But yeah, I think we're, we're starting to have a an impact on a bigger scale. What that really also speaks to for me is this whole idea that we can have an impact. Mm -hmm. um, and at a time when we see so many ways in which it's easy to feel powerless mm -hmm. because the level and scale of challenges in front of us are so big, yeah. I passionately believe that both as individuals and as businesses, mm -hmm. You can really, through your choices, through how you choose to engage with, well, obviously product choices, but really how you choose to engage with the world around you, yeah. can have so many knock-on impacts. Yeah. Um, and obviously, in your case, it went from, wow, I'm throwing away these coffee grounds in a cafetiere to I'm now saving potentially a 1,000 tons of mm. coffee grounds and turning them into beauty products that people are really going to enjoy. So yeah. it's just, I think, very inspiring to not put any limits really on the impacts no. we can have. As you mentioned, yeah. you watch the news and it can be fairly intimidating and a little bit depressing and easy to think, God, well, we've gone this far. What on earth am I gonna do about it? How am I gonna empty the oceans of plastic? Like, mm. pff, where to begin? Yeah. I've still got my job and I, you know, <laughs> oh yeah, I'll recycle, but like, am I really making a difference? And it's easy to just think, I can't. Um, but what we try to focus on instead is the idea of positive change Absolutely. and um, every little helps, uh, small changes build up to a big impact and I think hopefully we're an example of how that can happen Absolutely. Um, and we try to maintain this positive message throughout everything that we're sending out. Amazing, thank you so much Anna, really thank appreciate you. you being here, real no. pleasure to hear about the story, Likewise. thanks so much. Loved it. <laughs>